This video will go over how to set up G Reminders so that your clients can schedule meetings directly on your calendar. To set up your schedule, you're going to want to click your initials or picture in the upper right hand corner of the home page. Next, you will click on event types. Please note that some accounts come with a sample event type. You can delete it if you'd like. Let's click on create my first event type. You'll want to fill out the following information. Let's pretend we are a financial advisor. The name of the type of event you want your clients to book is financial review. For a description, let's just say your initial review of your financial goals with me. The location of the event, if any, for this case, we'll just put my office. Next, you'll wanna show how they're booked on your calendar. So we have a couple of options here. If you have multiple calendars, you could choose whatever calendar you're trying to book on. For this event, it's for our Grant Morgan 411 account. Um, this part right here just shows how far out in your calendar you'd like it to be booked. Right here is our event duration. We can change that to anything. And this feature right here is basically if you want them to not be able to book within the next two hours of this current time right now, you can enter that time in. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Next, you're going to want to set your availability. You can choose the hours of the day that you would like them to be able to book with you. This is where you would adjust your calendar to fit your needs. You can also choose the days of the week. Please note that we will automatically block out times where you already have appointments scheduled so there's no overlap. Next, right here, are the fields that your clients will need to fill in to book an appointment with you. And finally, we have the body of the messages that will go out as a reminder to them. Just like in the templates, these are customizable by cutting, pasting, and adding in text. If you want to use this in conjunction with reminders, please ensure the phone number is in the title or description of the event. Click Create, and you have successfully created your first event type. The screen now shows that you have an event type created. At the top of the screen is your link to your personal calendar. Common ways to share this link is to add it into your emails or add it to the signature line of your emails. You can even add it to your website. Now, let's look at this the way your client would see it if they clicked on your link to schedule. You can see that after they click your, your unique URL, they will come upon this page. In this case, Grant Morgan has set up two different appointment types. He has a 30 minute and a one hour. Let's click this one hour type. You can see that all of Grant Morgan's availability has come up on the screen. I will select a time that works for me and click on it. Your customer will fill out this form and click schedule. Their appointment will be confirmed. And now, if you see, we go back to Grant Morgan's calendar. We can refresh this page. You can see that here is our appointment that we just scheduled. Assuming that you collected an email address when they booked the meeting, we will automatically also include the client in the calendar invite. Notice the calendar invite also has links to reschedule and to cancel the meeting. Rescheduling and canceling meetings are very easy. Simply have your customer click those links and they can reschedule or cancel. All of this should drastically reduce the amount of time you spend going back and forth with clients to find suitable times to meet. It's as simple as that. If you had feedback or comments, please drop us a note at feedback at greminders.com. Happy booking.